Iowa heads to Rutgers. Yes, it is the Sickos game of the week. Good gracious. The total is at 34, and Rutgers is a seven and a half point home dog here over at BetUS. Of course, uh, the numbers, of course, provided by BetUS, 7 p.m. Eastern time on FS1. Uh, these two teams have only played twice, and Iowa is 0 and 1 when they play in New Jersey. Now, that was 2016, so it's a little bit different now. Um, you look at this, Rutgers' uh, top two quarterbacks are probably going to be out for this game. More than likely. Uh, I told you the total sits at 34. Well, let's go on and, and pop it up here. My projected total is 34.8. And this is based on the raw numbers just from this year, and I've actually got the wrong team favored. I've got Rutgers favored by five. I do not trust these numbers, obviously. But... Iowa has broken every metric that you could possibly come up with because it, you have to find a way to toss in special team scores and defensive scores and turnovers and short fields and blah, blah. And I don't know of a way that you can accurately predict that. I just have no idea. Uh, I will tell you this. Uh, the Rutgers offense was not great anyway. They run the ball a lot, 61% of the time. But I believe that without their top two quarterbacks to even have any kind of a hint or any kind of a threat of a pass, I, it doesn't matter what these numbers say on the screen. I think I was going to cover the 7.5, and, and I think they're going to do it by playing defense and special team scores and a short field and et cetera, et cetera. They're going to find a way to get a fumble or something. I'm going to trust that Iowa is able to cover 7.5. Uh, I would not throw any money on this game because, oh, my God, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Look at how good Rutgers' uh, defensive numbers are, by the way. You see all the all the blue on this left side? Excuse me, not blue. All the green on that left side? And then how bad Iowa's offensive numbers are? Yeah, it's, it's bad juju. But then it's, it's basically the same up here for Iowa's defense. These are two good defensive teams. Um, you look at PPA per play, Iowa's number 9, Rutgers' number 31. PPA defense per drive, Iowa's number 10. Over here, and Rutgers is number 32. Like, these offenses are not going to be able to move the football. Yeah, seven and a half feels like too much, but also Rutgers without quarterbacks, uh, that's not good. That's not good. I am very curious to watch this game, though, because I want to see what Sean Gleason does, the uh, Rutgers offense coordinator. I want to see how he tries to attack this. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.